and on to the next one. Now, welcome to WrestleMania 24 in uh, the Citrus Bowl in beautiful Orlando, Florida. March 30th, 2008. What do we got lined up for us? And so this match is Ric Flair versus Shawn Michaels. VHBK. Awesome. Is it is this Ric Flair's first appearance in this mode? Uh, no. He like it's his second. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. The first one was played back in WrestleMania eight. Yes. Macho Man. V Macho Man. This was like a retirement match or some sort of special stipulation? Yes. Now, how old was Ric Flair at this point? <laughs> Nine, <laughs> ten millennia? I... <laughs> Countless. When was this, was 2008? Um, this is what, 24? Yeah. Yeah, 2008. Okay, he'd have been about 58 years old, 57, 58 years old. Well, his his, his, cor his current corporeal form is was 58 years old. It's 59. <laughs> the the you know, right. We all know, of course. The timeless that. entity that is Ric Flair, you know, is eons older. Yes. Okay. So yeah, this is a uh, retirement match. Any is any particular other? Is it just a regular pinfall or submission or? Yep, pinfall or submission. Okay. And I assume we'll be playing as Shawn Michaels this time. Uh, we will yes be playing as Shawn Michaels. And this is actually you know pretty cool. Um, I do like how in the game Shawn Michaels eternally looks young. <laughs> Much like Ric Flair, relative comparatively. I mean, well, look, Ric Flair, he doesn't look young, but he looks younger than by all rights he should. <laughs> I know. Because by all, by all by all rights, a man of his age, subjected to this sort of physical abuse, ought to look ought to be basically a skeleton. Look at like um, I mean, Hulk Hogan is younger than he is, isn't he? I think so. I mean, Hulk Hogan looks way older. Yeah. Well, you Way think, sadder, too. You know what I think probably helps? Hmm. Is that Ric Flair has had white hair for as long as I can remember. That's true. Like, he had white hair, like, in the 80s. So it's like... <laughs> He's had old man hair for forever. I think I, I think he might have like been, like, you know, like, prematurely gray or whatever. So it's kind of like, he's always had old white guy hair, so it doesn't make him look older than it used to, because it's always been there. It's true. You know, um, it's like it's like he was like he was born fifty five and he's just stayed there. He stays there for eternity. Existed. He he's like Benjamin Button only he doesn't get younger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, when you're playing as Ric Flair, can you do the thing where like he falls on his knees and like grovels? Yeah, yeah. That's a move. That's awesome. a taunt, yeah. That's awesome. I wish you could do the flare flop, though. Oh, you, oh, you can't do that? I think you might be able to, but I don't know how. It might be a taunt. Like, I, I've not played enough as, of, as Ric Flair yet. But yeah, doing the flare flop has always been... I have to resist actually doing the... Uh, I know it's not called this, but I call it the nature walk. Okay. But the styling and profiling? You know, styling and profiling walk. Okay. I do that so much, and like I catch myself. What, in real life? And I think my girl, like when I'm just dancing. Are you, do you wear, it. when you're doing it, are you wearing like a robe like that? I wish. I, because you, you kind of need his fashion sense to, 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 I know. to fully achieve the, the nature boy effect. I think my girlfriend is starting to catch on to the fact that it is wrestling related, even though I keep telling her it's not. <laughs> like,
Like, I do it when, like, I'm celebrating. Okay. <laughs> Leaning <laughs> AI that's against legit, objects. That's a perfectly legitimate use. Yes. <laughs> Press circle when standing in front of or behind an opponent, and hold L2 and R2 to drag an opponent. I, 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 I would least... always use the Nature Boy walk as my taunt in Saints Row. Yeah, I, I do that as well. John Cena's You Can't See Me is in that. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, so is Hulk Hogan's, uh... Yeah, listening to the... Cra yeah, listen to the crowd. Hulk Hogan voices Angel de la Muerte. Oh, that's right! That's right. The rival of that walking apocalypse guy. Yeah. Which I just fi I find kind of funny just because, like, I've always pictured... Uh, Hulk Hogan is a little bit too old to understand the intricacies of video games. <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah, hey, it's it, true. It, it, it had Burt Reynolds... Saints Row 3 had Burt Reynolds just show up out of nowhere. Yeah, but Burt Reynolds like seems like the kind of person who'd be down for that. I mean, he was in Season 3 of Archer. Oh, okay, that's true. As himself. Was he himself in that as well? Okay. Yeah. Oh, God damn it! I missed... Burt Reynolds is no longer an actor so much as a like a transmedia franchise. Yeah. Sorry, I need to plug in my headset. Meanwhile, back in wrestling. Yep. There uh, we go. Oh, you achieved your first objective? First try. He's going for the springboard moonsault. Which we saw last week. Oh! Oh! Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. You know what I appreciate? Um, I wish they had the actual Spanish announce table. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one announce table, I, I notice. Yeah. Like, I, I know they're probably saving on computing power. Yeah, they don't want it yet. But I really wish they had the Spanish announce table. At least, for the, at least table. for the 30 years of WrestleMania spots. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, like, now that we're, I'd say about three quarters of the way through the game. Uh, like, I have some serious thoughts on it. I feel like this game and the franchise are ruined by the idea that they need to yearly produce um, a title. You think they're turning them out too fast? Yeah. Because there's very clearly a lot of love put into the 30 years of WrestleMania mode. Like, um, that... Razor Ramon HBK WrestleMania 10 ladder match, like you know how they do that, um, the Talking Heads bit. Yeah. That is nowhere else in the game. Really. Interesting. Yeah, and okay, well, there's one bit uh, for WrestleMania 5 when Macho Man talks a little bit to the camera, but that's like the. Uh, but that's also still in the 30 years of WrestleMania, so. Yeah. So, like, I don't understand why, like, there's not more of that. Now, do they put these out yearly? They do. This is the first one by 2K. Okay. Because it, the, the, uh, the rights to produce it were... It was THQ, wasn't it? God damn it, stay down, Ric Flair. <laughs> Rick they Flair, were owned nothing, by THQ. Ric Flair will never stay down, Nick. Put, the, put the, any hopes of that out of your mind. You can only I hope know. to contain him. <laughs> Um, they were owned by THQ, who put them out yearly, and, you know, yeah, that'll save THQ. Um, okay, so then uh, in all seriousness, them. like, 2K has the resources to make these games not annually and make them amazing. And it really disappoints me. Just fuck, I just want to super kick you. Historically, Shawn Michaels has trouble super kicking people he actually wants to super kick. It's true. It is a realistic simulation. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know these were actually yearly. Although I guess. Yeah. I guess a lot of sort of sports or whatever franchises are. 
Yeah, and you know, I, I really feel like... Oh, fucking hell, how did I miss? Ow. I really feel like if they took uh, more than the nine months development cycle mm -hmm. to push one of these games out, it would be way better than just, like, average. Like, this is this is okay. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, but mechanically it's not that di different from WWE 13. Okay. And, like, mode-wise, like, the biggest draw they have is the 30 years of WrestleMania because they took out a lot of the create-a-wrestler stuff. They took it out? Uh, you can still create a wrestler, but, like, the old um, create-a-wrestler stuff, like, you could have a custom Titan Tron yeah. where your character would do their moves to other wrestlers, oh, yeah. and it would be in a video, and you could upload custom music, which is not available in this mode. That's a shame. Why'd they take that yeah. out? Um, memory and uh, exploit issues. Like, people could use it to hack the game. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Maybe, I don't and, know, like, maybe, I, under maybe I understand... Maybe they could do the whole thing with, like, like yearly releases with, like, ro like with rotating teams like they did with Call of Duty. Yeah. They could have Treyarch come in and, and put put out, like, you know, SmackDown Special Ops or something. <laughs> or Black... Or is it Black Ops? SmackDown Reserved Ops. <laughs> it's Black Ops. Okay. Hey, what's, what's wrong here? Uh, Shawn Michaels does not want to pin Ric Flair. Uh, the actual feud, uh, HBK professed a lot of ad admiration for uh, Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. And this was, it was Ric Flair's idea to go out on a match against HBK. Really? And so there is some real life um, reluctance to actually... Because the storyline is it's going to end his career. Yeah. And at this point, he actually was going to retire, right? Yes. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. That was I'm going to get superplexed. Oh. I just got to get up. There we go. One more sweet chin music. Didn't look like it really reached his chin. Yeah. Sweet solar plexus music. <laughs> no! Don't you die on me! <laughs> Good night, Fight! sweet <laughs> 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 a flight of angels sing thee to thy rest. Woo! Woo! Just, just this, this thunderous sound of, of woo just echoes across the entire city at that moment. <laughs> As, at, his apo at his apotheosis. I would really love to go to a sports bar sometime <laughs> and woo and see who responds. <laughs> Yeah, so that was uh, HBK versus Ric Flair. Pretty sweet. But, yeah, as I was saying, I really think they could push out a great game if they had two years instead of one.